wherever you go You're in for a treat From Virginia to Maine You'll find cuisine that can't be beat Should you choose Boston or Manhattan chowder Tell them to bring on the feast Great times, great food, great taste Great chefs of the East So pull up a chair Get ready to die The Chesapeake Bay soft shells they say Are simply divine It's time to let go Let your palate wander Tell them please bring on the feast Great times, great food, great taste Great chefs of the Welcome to Great Chefs of the East, a celebration of regional cookery featuring some of the leading chefs from the East and Northeast. This time from New Marlboro, Massachusetts, an appetizer by Christopher Capstick. From Boston, an entree by Lydia Shire. And from New York City, dessert by Dan Rundell. Oriole is one of New York's hottest restaurants and one of the reasons is the artistic pastry work of Dan Rundell. A graduate of Rhode Island's Johnson & Wales College, he baked in upstate New York before joining Oreo. His dessert is an eye-catching cool caramel mousse. The chef begins by incorporating a quarter cup of sugar and six egg yolks for the warm water. They are beaten at high speed until pale and fluffy. We're gonna take gelatin. Two teaspoons of gelatin, bloom it in a quarter cup of cold water, and allow that to bloom. Then we're going to melt it down and dissolve it over a warm water bath. This here is the raisin cake. It's um, raisins, flour, sugar, butter. It's a very basic raisin cake. Um, what we're going to do, this is going to be lining the bottom of the mold for the caramel mousse. We're going to take a basic uh, three inch to four inch ring mold, making sure your cake is very level, nice and smooth, taking and pressing down this ring mold and turning around slightly to get a nice sealing surface around the edge. So when the caramel mousse is put in, it's very warm and liquid and it's not going to uh, flow out around the edges. The three components that will be added to the egg mix for them are the softened gelatin, melted butter, and caramelized sugar. Once the medium amber color is achieved, it's going to slowly add it in down the edge of the bowl, making sure not to add it too quickly. If it's added too quickly, you're more apt to overcook your egg yolks. It's important that you take your sugar off a little bit ahead of time because it tends to carry over. Once you're mixed for two or three minutes, slowly incorporate melted unsalted butter that was melted previously, adding it slowly down the edge of the bowl. It's important that you add it slowly not to uh, curdle your mixture because you're adding a large fat substance into this uh, sugar mixture here. This is eight ounces of butter. Adding it slowly at first. After uh, over a half of it's entered into the bowl, you can add it at a more rapid rate. Now the melted gel. Down the edge of the bowl, same as the butter and the sugar were added. It's important that it's added slowly so you do not curdle the mixture and it all pulls together as one solid uh, mixture. This cream finishes the mousse. We're going to take our caramel mousse that has been whipped previously and incorporating it into the whipped cream. Pouring all, to, all the caramel mousse mixture into the whipped cream. Then we're going to whisk it smooth with a whip.
making sure that everything is fully incorporated and smooth. We're gonna fill them to the top. Your raisin cake is in the bottom. You can moisten that with a simple syrup if you would like, but generally doesn't need it. Fill your molds completely to the top and allow to chill in a freezer. A dramatic garnish is a hat done with melted sugar. The steel surface has been sprayed with shortening. Sugar is going to cool very quickly onto the surface. I'm going to cut the very outer edge with a round ring mold that's been greased, just pressing down slightly. The excess sugar can be thrown away. Never stick it back into your pot because the grease will cause it to a crystallize. Allow this to cool for about two minutes. Then we're going to unmold the cup and invert the sugar upright. Sauteed apples and pineapple will garnish. We're going to place on the basket on the very top of the mousse, pushing down in the center of it. We're then also going to place in um, two twills that have been previously done, sticking them into the basket. Then adding in the sautéed apples and pineapples that have now been cooled. It's important that these are cool and not too warm because it will melt the sugar basket. Set the fruit in. A generous amount. Great food, great taste, great chefs of the East. 